are you looking for? I think my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for? I think my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> knew they were here somewhere. <laughs> but it was extremely hard to find. <laughs> yeah, very difficult. <laughs> so, are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> it looks like a deja vu for me because two years ago we shot our first video and uh, they are very alike you like it it's fine am i looking in the right place my eyes are <laughs> my eyes are correct this eye looks funny <laughs> no. okay. you look so attractive okay <laughs> beautiful okay, okay. Uh, now we even have a nickname for our subscribers what are they wine people in short wapo 제가 얼마 전에 와인킹 팬분들, 여러분들의 애칭을 정하는데 도움을 좀 주십시오 하고 커뮤니티에 글을 올려드렸더니 무려 1800분께서 도움을 주셨어요. 그 중에서 가장 인기가 많았던 게 사실 미안님이 제안하신 포도당이었어요. 그런데 제가 사실은 18년 전에 다니던 회사를 그만두고 외국어와 와인을 공부하러 떠나게 된 결정적인 계기가 저를 채용해 줬던 회사에서 어, 반년 동안 저를 방치해 놔서 고민 고민을 하다가 정리를 하고 떠난 거였거든요. 근데 그 회사가 포도당 회사예요. 당시에 이제 신입 사원이라서 인터넷도 눈치 보여서 마음대로 못 쓰고 어, 반년 동안 병만 바라보면서 고민을 하다가 아, 이게 아니라 평생 벌어먹고 살 길을 찾아야겠다라고 어, 떠나서 공부하기 시작한 게 외국어와 와인이었거든요. 그래서 사실 제가 여러분들을 이렇게 부를 때 애정이 가득해야 되는데 제가 포도당에 대한 애정이 없습니다. 그래서 이거는 좀 배제를 했고요. 두 번째 인기가 많았던 게 김재현 님께서 제안해 주신 프랑스어를 활용해서 와인을 뜻하는 뱅과 가까운 여기에 있는 이라는 뜻에 C를 붙여서 C뱅은 어떨까요? 라고 제안을 해 주셨는데요. 여기 또 700분 가까이 좋아요를 누르시고 그리고 대댓글도 배운들입니다. 이런 좋은 호평이 가득했었는데요. 사실 스뱅은 프랑스 남부 록시탄이라고 불리는 사투리예요. 표준어라면 스방이 되거든요. 근데 이거를 남성 팬들한테 적용을 하면 은 프랑스 남부 사투리로는 스뱅놈 그리고 표준어로는 스방놈 그리고 여성분들한테 적용하면 은 프랑스 남부 사투리로는 스뱅 팜 표준어로 하면 스뱅 팜가 되거든요 근데 이거를 발음을 제대로 해주시면 괜찮은데 근데 많은 경우에 발음이 잘못될 가능성이 있어요 그럼 별로 듣기가 안 좋을 것 같아요 그래서 어쩔 수 없이 또 배제를 했고요 최종적으로 선택된 팬 애칭은 와뽀 입니다 와인 비뽀 를 줄여서 와뽀 이라고 부르는 제안이 채택이 됐어요 그래서 처음으로 이 제안을 해주신 RCAC님께 제가 선물을 보내드리겠습니다. 사실은 똑같은 의견을 내주신 김다다님께서 조회는 가장 많이 받으셨는데요. 처음 의견을 내주신 분이 중요하니까 RCAC님 제게 연락 부탁드리고요. 그리고 여러분 한분한 한 분이 와뽀이기 때문에 여러분 모두는 와뽀스가 됩니다. 그래서 제가 인사할 때 안녕하세요 와뽀스 하고 인사하면 되겠죠? 오늘은 세계 최고의 와인 전문가가 와인의 정체를 찾아가는 경로를 여러분께 대공개합니다. 맛의 세계를 분석하는 데는 정말 많은 분야가 있지만 와인이 그 최정점에 있어요. 그래서 와인 맛을 제대로 분석할 줄 알면요. 음식, 차, 커피 등등 모든 음식물을 정말 제대로 분석을 해낼 수가 있어요. 그럼 오늘 영상을 같이 보실까요? So the people that, that follow us are Wapples. Yes, Wapples. Wapples. So we can put that on the face mask. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want to fabricate face mask? The well, because much? we have a, like a secret society of Wapples. <laughs> the people walk in the street and it looks like just another person. Uh -huh. And then you see they have the Wapple 
face mask on and you say this is somebody special <laughs> this is somebody who knows this is somebody who has discovered <laughs> i'm very happy because you are in such a good condition today <laughs> <laughs> So we start with tasting a bottle of wine. Okay. It's white wine. White wine. You will see the color. <laughs> okay. Now I hope you didn't do your normal trick, which is to get some $1.99 white wine and pour it very carefully so that you try and fool us into thinking it's something special. Usually I don't do that. <laughs> People got concerned because when I showed up, with uh, the, the world cheapest uh, Calorasi bottle in the previous video. So people got concerned if you were really mad. Were you? No, I wasn't really mad. I just had a uh, bottle of uh, a 19-year-old mm -hmm. Chateau Mouton Rothschild, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I prepared it for you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then to go to Carlo Rossi straight after that, uh -huh. I realized that we were drinking lower priced wine. Mm -hmm. Then I sipped it again. I said, this isn't lower priced. Mm -hmm. This is the lowest price. Mm -hmm. And I know when you say that the wines are very, very good and special, that there's a special reason that you said special. Okay. No, I was not cross. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> Just a little bit because you took away drinking time from the other great wines. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, people are, our subscribers are curious about what you are always writing on your book. What kind of words do you write on your note? So I write notes about the color, uh -huh. pale yellow, pale buttercup in this case. I got a little bit of tropical fruit mm -hmm. on that. I get a hint of like peach kernels, mm -hmm. peach pits seeds. This is what I call a very useful one because mm -hmm. It's not an expensive wine, but it's got something for everybody. It's got enough fruit, it's got enough minerality, and it's bland. So sometimes that can be considered to be boring, but at other times, bland is also something that's got you know, universal appeal. Because anything with a very strong personality, then some people don't like the personality. But I cannot uh, agree with uh, one of your opinion. Which is the opinion? You said something with a big personality or characteristic may not go well with a majority of people but for example your strong character <laughs> <laughs> it's very popular by all of our subscribers yeah all the subscribers but it's perhaps unpopular with those people that are not subscribing <laughs> so you don't know how many people are put off by my personality you only know how many people are attracted by my personality so that's the thing, you, you know, you don't know. And you don't care. <laughs> I am who I am. Mm -hmm. I do care. If they get offended because I've said or done something offensive, then I care. Mm -hmm. If they get offended because they simply don't like who I am, as long as I'm me and I'm not disappointed with the me that I'm being, mm -hmm. I'm fine. It's okay. Not everybody in the world can love you. There's a reason why I'm that important for you. <laughs> 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 so for me, this is kind of quite bland. Uh, this is what I would expect in a glass of Pinot Grigio. And that's where I think we are. I see from each country. That's a little bit more difficult to tell. Mm -hmm. uh, I would argue that this is uh, entry-level Pinot Grigio from Italy. Which vintage? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 2019 and yeah. they're probably not on the market yet. Or just coming on the market. So, And I can see here it's not very old. Uh -huh. So, 17 or 18. All right. What is it? <laughs> it's my little pleasure to see the bottle for the first time. <laughs> Please don't ruin it. <laughs> yeah, Pinot Grigio. Ah, Pinot Grigio della Venezia, Santi Apostoli. And the vintage? 2017. Yeah. yeah. It's lovely. In the earlier days, it was Pinot Grigio della Venezia, which was Italy EGT. Mm. Today, della Venezia is DOC. So it's upgraded. Upgraded. Of course, they upgrade the price more than the quality. <laughs> it's the same wine, same bottle, same cork. <laughs> the idea is to try and use the words mm. and the sensations to unlock the taste memory. Mm. 
if you're concentrating, and that's the key thing for blind tasting, you have to concentrate. You have to do it when you're in good shape. You're concentrating on identifying what for that wine would you would try and have them as unique characteristics. Mm. So it's not helpful to say the wine's woodsy. Woodsy. Uh, that but means it's got a characteristic of wood. Beginners always say woodsy, not woody. It's not helpful because anything can be woodsy. Fruity. Fruity doesn't help because wine is, after all, made from fruit. And then also fruity, particularly on the palate, is code for sweet. So you need to try and find, and that's why you have to concentrate, those words that are kind of unique and kind of not ordinary. Mm -hmm. So you can say... The last time that I had a wine that had that specific character. Mm -hmm. So let's say in the case of Pinot Grigio, which we've just had, that characteristic of peach kernels. The summer fruits, when you've eaten the fruit mm -hmm. and the, the pip mm -hmm. is in your tongue. Mm -hmm. That character on mm -hmm. your tongue, mm -hmm. it's hardly a taste because you're not really eating it. You need to try and come up with specific descriptors. Once you've got a few specific descriptors, then you go and you sort of go into your brain like a filing cabinet, online filing cabinet, until you find that, that little pigeonhole uh -huh. where you say, I've had something like this before, and when the last time I had it, this is what it was. This is what it reminds me of. And of course, we're very often wrong. It's an intellectual exercise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. An exercise that requires experience and concentration and the ability to discern between flavors. And even for the most experienced, the most intelligent, and the most discerning people, if they're having a bad day, they have a bad day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 어떻게 재밌게 보셨나요? 다음 편에서는 여러분들께서 우리 와인킹 채널에 대해서 궁금한 점을 많이 알려주셔서 Q&A를 준비해서 보여드릴 겁니다. 그리고 지금 현재 준비하고 있는 프로젝트가요. 여러분들께서 가장 많이 소비하시는 와인들에 관한 정보를 댓글로 지금 계속 달아주고 계시잖아요. 그 정보를 제가 취합을 하고 있어요. 그 댓글에다가 와인 가격까지, 해당 와인의 가격까지 같이 적어주시면 정말 많은 도움이 되겠고요. 그 댓글들을 쭉 모아서 세계 최고의 와인 전문가이신 제두분 스승님과 함께 같이 맛을 볼 거예요. 그래서 여러분들께서 어떤 와인을 드시면 좋고 어떤 와인은 좀 어, 되도록 피하시면 좋을지 거기에 관한 구체적인 정보를 드리려고 하니까 계속 달아주시고요. 그리고 구독과 좋아요 꼭 잊지 말고 남겨주세요. 감사합니다. 와플스. 다음 주 월요일 저녁 6시에 뵙겠습니다. 이럴 땐이 와인 네이버 밴드로 놀러 오시면 와인을 잘 몰라도 편하고 싸게 사실 수 있도록 제가 많이 도와드립니다. 다들 만족하시고 좋아하시더라고요.